Today we'll make this simple spring flower box. Keep watching. We're going to start off with some beads, whichever colors you like. I have some paper letters that spell the word spring. You can use stickers or any font you want. Then you're going to take enough of these blocks to put the letters spring on there. And then we have some felt flower pins that came originally from Target. So did those little dry erase blocks. This is my thrifted burlap. I'm going to use some of this. You can use any type of paper on the back if you'd like. And I'm just going to use this lucky sign, flip it over, and use the inside of the back. Simple. We don't even have to paint anything. This is a quick project. So you're either going to cut down your piece of paper to fit into the back, or you can use burlap to put into the back. You could also use fabric if you'd like. So I'm just measuring this to fit in there. You can see my ruler. Um, that metal ruler came from Dollar Tree. I love it. I use it for many, many things. And I'm going to cut and trim it so that it will fit inside of this box. Protect your fingers. My little finger protectors came from Dollar Tree, but it is my understanding that you can get them lots of places. Going to use your hot glue gun and just go around one edge at a time. So it's important that if your fabric is not an exact rectangle to fit the inside, that the side that is going to be shown is the side that you want to have a nice flush seam or edge. So I got mine actually a little short, so it's not exactly straight on this side, but it is on the other side. So, you know, you just have to kind of play around and see which side you want to be the top. Okay, you don't even have to do the ends if you don't want to. As long as you get those two sides there. We don't want to put any glue in the middle because you'll be able to see the lines and you don't want to see those lines. So I couldn't, I couldn't take these little pins off easily. I thought maybe I could just pull them off or cut them off, but it didn't work with scissors. So I've got to use my pliers and just cut those off. And then I'm going to arrange them in the box. These are actually like baby shower uh, felt flowers that came from the um, from Target in the little bullseye playground area last year, I think, and I got them at Dirt Cheap this year. I knew I could use them in a spring project that they would be so cute and they I think uh, are very versatile you can do a lot of things with these you just got to think outside the box when you find things that you like other ways that you can use them so I'm just placing these down in any way that looks to me like it would look you know nice makes sense be kind of evenly spaced so that I can see all of the flowers and I want to be sure that I can see some of my greenery too So now we're going to move on to putting the letters on these blocks. These are dry erase blocks. Um, like I said before, they came in a, I think a 12 pack or a 10 pack from also Target, but I got them from Dirt Cheap. And uh, they were very inexpensive. I think I got like $10 items for a dollar. So yeah, it was crazy. You're just going to take your glue stick. Um, this is purple until it dries and then it's clear, so you don't have to worry about it being messy. It, it won't show. You go ahead and put some on the back and place them in the center of my blocks. These fit well. Um, these paper letters came from my scrapbook supply that I've had forever, so th they could be 10, 12 years old. They, they've been around for a long time and I'm so glad that I finally, as I was purging all of my um, old scrapbook stuff, there were lots of things that I could keep and repurpose and then not have to spend any money for my crafting. You 
you could probably do Mod Podge or something like that on here if you wanted to. You could also use plain wooden blocks and you could paint them um, if you like the look of the white. Okay, so once we get that on there, I'm just going to dot on some more of that glue to go over the top to hold it down. I'm going to do that on each one of them, just kind of patting it down. If you use stickers, you don't have to do this. I guess it would be an extra step to keep them from peeling up. This worked great for me. Now we're going to place these on the top of the box. And what I thought would be cute is to divide these letters up. A little space in between. So I'm going to use these beads as my spacers. These beads came from Goodwill. I got them at the thrift store in long strings and I just cut them, some of the strings apart, and I'm using those individually in my projects. I love the color. It's like a dusty rose or a mauve color and I think it's fitting for spring. Just going to use some hot glue and make sure that it's enough that when you sit the bead down in there that the glue will go up in the middle where the hole is. That's going to give it a good, a good secure fit. I'm going to do that in the center side of each one so that it looks like they are either chained or strung together. You can do this on the outsides of your letters as well if you'd like. So you see this, how this works, and then it looks like they are connected together. Now it's time to start putting our word together. Same thing, make sure some of the glue goes on the inside and you have some around the outside of it, and you're just going to start putting those together. I'm using the edge of the box as a guide so that I get those nice and straight, and there won't be any gapping or problems when I put them on my uh, on the box yeah excuse my dog we have a, a neighbor's dog or somebody's dog out there and she is not having it she's very worried and concerned okay so there you go You can skip this part if you don't want to use any, you know, spacers. You certainly don't have to use any spacers here. Just holding that there so that it will dry and nothing falls apart. And I want to put this in the center top of the box, of course. One more flower I'm going to add here to this bottom corner. And then since we haven't glued spring on there yet, you can decide at that point, do you want this to be the, you know, do you like the the position of this or does this look better and so I chose to flip it around and I think this looks a little bit better now that we have this one piece we can put it on the box just double checking and triple checking my placement And I'm just going to add some glue. Got to refill that glue, glue gun. Just going to add some little dribbles here and there on the bottom. And then lift it up and carefully place it back down in the area that I chose for it to sit. I'm just taking my little tweezers that came from Dollar Tree in a free pack. And I'm going to pull out the little, the little webs that come from the glue. I could have been a little bit neater with that. And I wouldn't have that mess. There you go. How's that? Easy project. You can find these supplies or something similar to it at Dollar Tree. Certainly you can use uh, my piece as an inspiration piece for you to do a project like this from thrifted supplies or even things you already have at home. I hope you like it. I hope you're enjoying the spring videos and that you liked the St. Patrick's Day videos. We have more spring videos coming up and we also have some flips hopefully coming soon. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again real soon. Bye!